Yeah. Raspberry lemonade. Sounds good to me. Okay, so pretty typical for myself to be rolling up to the party late. I already had my pre-workout. I had the uh, pre OT Ultra. What was the, what flavor was it? No, it wasn't pink lemonade. I don't remember, but it was delicious. I did have the pink lemonade yesterday though, it was really good. So right now I'm gonna mix up the Intra HD. This is our EAA's plus hydration formula. So I'm gonna get a serving of this, mix it up with the pure muscle and fitness water and uh, get ready to go train some chest with boss man. Oh, look at that. I even got ice. Look at that, they rolled out the red carpet for me today. So, and, and the hand, and the, the scooper. There we go. This is a, a pro tip. The ice will enhance the flavors, make everything really pop, okay? Intro going in, and then we're gonna train. Up with chest training is basically like your humorous coming away from body and just yeah. coming across and bicep to the pack. Yeah, it's just yeah, like that's really just like lengthening pack. It's just like adducting the arm yeah. in and then shortening pack. Yes, exactly. Well, I think a lot of people think hands together yeah. when you fly, but if you if you touch your hands, that's not a fully Biceps. finished or fully shortened pack. Straighten the arms, and then you'll really feel that that pack fully shortened. So what I like to think about is having a straight arm and jamming that bicep right into the side of the pec. Always keep the shoulders behind the pecs, biceps into the chest, fully shortened pecs, bam, like this. Not this, this. So I got like the flex row from him. Is it pretty bang on, on? Pretty bang. similar? Yeah, very good actually. Yeah, yeah. Just feels a hey, little. Justin. What's up, man? What's up, buddy? How, How you doing? doing? I, I, Just I Kevin. Watch, I watch your videos. Oh, very cool. I appreciate you're that. You're in the HD videos. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah some stuff this week. So. The newest, newest member of HD Muscle. I, know, I, just, I just did. Look at that three. pump, man. I know, Jeez. I know, I know. Look at that. You look crazy. Thank you, man. You're good, yeah, man. Of course, you guys dude. motivate me. <laughs> Keep it up. Quentin yeah. told me he'd come to meet you. Quentin's <laughs> oh, right, right. yeah, funny. Yeah, Quentin's uh, the best. The Joker, right? <laughs> you're the best. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and I met, and I met Nick Walker the other day. He's a good kid, isn't he? Where does he live? Does he live in New Jersey? He I lives in Vegas. He's in yeah, Vegas. he used to live in New Jersey. Oh, and Flex Lewis is in Vegas. He's in, City. He's in Sin City. Oh, cool. And yeah, he's getting into trouble. He lives in Vegas. That's right. Yeah. I, I, keep right. Up, I keep up a body burden all the time. Good, good. <laughs> no. It's a great community to and keep Nick up Walker with. Nick should have won honor class. You're yeah. damn right, that's he my, should That's have. my competing. That's my competing <laughs> <laughs> I'm sticking with it. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> Nice meeting you. Right up, buddy. Nice meeting yeah. you as well. Yes, I like, tinkered with this with no weight. It didn't give me... The feedback, you were... Yeah. 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 So yeah.
12 to 15. I just always make sure now, like, you know, when you're younger, you tend to, like, go, when you say past failure, right? Yeah. So many different terms of what that is. Yeah, exactly. Is it, like, failure of the muscle, or is it, like, failure of, like, okay, now I'm using my shoulders and my triceps. Exactly. Yeah. You well, know? the way I look at it, it's like, I want to take perfect execution all the way to failure without breaking form, and then if I'm going past failure, that's with assisted reps. Yeah, you're or, using the or spot. Or like, a, like a, a partial. If you can't do full range of motion with the, within yeah. those execution parameters, then so, you can do like So your, your first rep and your last rep of failure essentially looks the same. The yeah, only difference should. is yeah. someone spotting you or, yeah, exactly. you know. Yeah, and I noticed that about a lot of guys that just like, like say for example, I trained with Hassan Mustafa. Yeah. His form and execution was just like nails. Good. First rep and last rep, always the that's same. Should be. Same with Nick. And same this, with you. I think a lot of people will say that like that's like that's boring or like people get like don't have the patience for it. But for me, yeah. like chasing those perfect sets, there's so much satisfaction in it for me. No, yeah, like it, nailing 15 reps that are clean, identical, and I oh. take just my pecs, the perfect failure, like. I, I like I like the chase of like nailing those perfect sets. Oh, and I, I mean, find people. And I think honestly, if you can if you can actually find the passion for that and fall in love with that process, it will come back tenfold. It really yeah. is. It's so much value. In it. I find people see what you guys are doing, right? Yeah. And then they'll try to do what you're doing, but what they don't realize is like when we trained with Nick the other week, we did dumbbell presses. You want a dumbbell press? You haven't done it in a while. Yeah. Him doing 180 pound dumbbells. Looks like us doing 90s. So. Yes. Yeah. It's like he's just that fucking strong and I good. I know. He can do those perfectly yes. and make it look like a warm-up. Yes, it's you know like... I mean? I, it honestly gets misconstrued with my training a lot where I'll do maybe like a single arm pull down and I'm digging, I'm holding for a one second, three second negative and I pause in the stretch. What you don't understand is like during that negative, my fucking yeah. lats shake and I'm yeah, doing you're controlling, you're in the muscle. As I'm contracting, I'm, I'm using every bit of weight I can within that execution. Yeah, you're like, trying to make it as hard as possible on your muscle. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, yeah. so then you see guys that are using, you know, 30 pounds on a pull down stack and like mimicking that execution, but it, the load isn't there enough to cause a stimulus. Yeah, yeah. You know? So like being, you have to- It's heavy weight, it's it, heavy weight with form. Heavy and weight execution. executed perfectly yeah. till uh, form failure. Yeah. And so you guys will notice as Justin gets into the workout, maybe a lot of his like feel sets or whatever you want to call them, warm up sets, they might get less and less reps because he's already warm. So he's just sort of getting under there just to get his nervous system familiar with the movement and he's not wasting any energy. So he's going to save all of his energy for his work set. So that's why he just, you know, got under that weight. He touched it, did two reps and he's going to save his energy for his working sets. Just a warm up. So treat your warm ups as warm ups. They're just a way to get you prepared for that working set. So conserving energy, then I'll go all out. have my life sorted out properly yeah. and I'm able to do it I would love to be able to dedicate like 16 weeks to like yeah, of course just do it yeah. but I, I just found like when I try to get back into it just hard with all the businesses and like running things and stress and yeah. something's gonna give for sure of course. you know yeah, there's always so some, it's like uh, yeah it's really I feel like we're gonna be in the position maybe next year where we have like you know we're building all the teams and stuff yeah, that I might yeah. be able to be like okay whether it's the Toronto Pro Qualifier, the Nationals in the fall, yeah. if I can devote the time, sure. like confidently knowing I can put right. everything into it, yeah. I, would, I would maybe do it one more good. time, well, you yeah. know? Her, she seems to be running. Yeah, I just figured during this time, if I can maintain a good physique and just get better in my training and like just be in good shape. Yeah, you don't look like you've like let off or anything. You yeah, so if I can just maintain yeah. that and then like yeah. be in a good place to- For sure, what do you weigh right now? Gas? I'm like 240, I just say yeah. 240, 239, yeah. 241, nice weight. based on what I'm eating, you know? Yep. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, I seen him yesterday. He goes to wipe the sweat off his face. Lifts his shirt off, he's completely shredded. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, really? yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. He's like even sitting down, like just lifting his shirt off. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm seven weeks old. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, he's in Oh, I just, I was just all, I, for like four days too, man. I, the first time in my life, I didn't eat like any of my bodybuilding meals. Yeah, really? Recently? 
I was just eating shit all day. And I didn't yeah. eat any weight. But I think really? it's the first time, but I think I was just replacing calories. Man, you know, honestly. I've never like, done that. Yeah. I always feel like, like whenever I go, like have like a hardcore cheat and I binge, like Matt was giving me these cheat meals and he's like, yeah, just go have a date night and do whatever the fuck you want. So I would go to dinner, appetizers, dessert, whatever the fuck I wanted. We'd go to the movies, I'd eat candy. Yeah. Next day I'm always down two pounds. Wow. Yeah, next day I'm down two pounds. Like every the time. Yeah, every motors time. through it. And then like he'll give me a high day of just all clean food, then I'm up two pounds. It's like I can binge on joke, eh? I know I got tons of calories. Just hits, you know what, I don't, I don't know if it's like even something to do with stress and cortisol, but sometimes when I think you're prepping and you have that stuff, it's yeah. such a stress release and you feel good yeah. and you're having fun. You're candy in the movie. You're with your wife relax. or your yeah. friends and you know what I mean? It's yeah. like so release of cortisol. There's definitely some value in like that detachment. Yeah. You know what I mean? 100%, yeah. 100%. I'll have to tell Matt, but that gives the candy, man. Yeah, yeah. Keep, you gotta keep that up. Yeah. You gotta keep it in there. Sure. <laughs> 25 bucks. No, it's, seriously, you just tell you, you guys want to pack your shit and come to the mansion? Nah, because then I'm, I'd be packing up again in two days. It's all good. Yeah. Unless I'm totally, I'm totally happy. The accommodations are yeah. fine. Yeah. And next time you guys come, I'll, I'll probably have my new place. And yeah. there's like a whole bunch of bedrooms. There's an ensuite in the basement. Sweet. I'm going to try and move in like next. I'll see. I'm going to put, yeah. But yeah, that way when you guys come, there's a pool, yeah, a hot pool. tub. Like it's really well, nice. After my show, I'll come back. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. It'd be fun. Cause I want to be able to go. I'm watching you guys eat dinner at that amazing restaurant. Yeah, we all <laughs> went, we're eating pizza and bar? cheeseburgers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I just had a diet coke <laughs> with a lemon. <laughs> it was good. Though. Yep. You had a pickle, didn't you? Oh yeah, yeah. I had a pickle. Yeah, don't forget. I had a, a, a Jasmine volunteered her. No, it was Noah. Jasmine kept her pickle. <laughs> It's challenging in the contraction, huh? It is. Close it in, right? Yeah, I can tell. That, like once we start putting some weight so on. I, I, I pretty much focus from here to here. I say we're gonna be like, shh, yeah, shh, it's tough. You yeah. can kind of change that a little bit, manipulating it by pulling this out. Okay. You know gotcha. what I mean? You yeah. pull it out a little further, it'll change the strength curve a little yeah, bit. You know. Whoa. You know, it's picture yourself like doing the most muscular here. Yeah. You know? Oh. <clears throat> What's up, man? Hey, buddy. How's it oh, going? So now he wants to film tomorrow too, huh? That's that's real cute. I told him that. I was like, bro. <laughs> so we were supposed to train what on on Monday? <laughs> that, or, was that yesterday? Yeah. But I was gonna film. Urz is gonna film. So Urz is like, nah, that's too much. And then I told him to film legs tomorrow. And then Urz wants to jump in. He's like, but I want to film too. What's <laughs> <laughs> up, man? <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, what are you training? Arm today? Oh, arms today? Yeah. Up, buddy. Uh, hey, look yeah. at these. These uh, fuckers yeah. are growing. <laughs> They're getting big. Still need to. Getting there, right? Yeah. yeah. Exciting How are you? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's arm day. You got to yeah. let him hang. Yeah. Every day is arm day. He's been walking on his on his hands. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. To build his arm. Is that like? <laughs> is that one of your priorities this yeah. this year? Is bring up the arms? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's good. Do you guys do you guys split? Do you guys superset arms or how do how do you no, we how do you trade them? The yeah, I always found the best results I ever got with arms. Job, so yeah, for me it was always supersetting yeah. back and forth. Superset or do you do biceps then triceps? I would do a bicep like, exercise, you can right? Do like one set a month when you're fucking arms. No man, I would do I would do my <laughs> bicep exercise and superset with a tricep. And the tricep exercise, I actually like the feeling of it better because the bicep's blown up. I know. So, so when getting you a little bit of cushion, yeah. getting a little bit of a cushion and it supports the tricep. I always loved that feeling. Yeah. The mind-muscle connection too was always better because like everything was just firing. I do yeah. feel like 
with arms specifically, like sensation, like feeling matters. You yes. know what I mean? Like a lot of pump, blood volume. Blood volume. Wherever Dude, I'm a the 20 best rep pump. guy. 15, yeah. 20, yeah, for sure. I'm I very higher. rarely will do less than 15, yeah. but yeah, like sets of 20. I, I just really like a pump, pump them up. Yeah. Lots of yeah. blood. Definitely. Lots of blood volume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's just always what's worked cool. for me. But obviously, I think with triceps, not biceps. But triceps is one of those things that I think some heavy compound, like a heavy dip or a close skull crusher, skull crusher or something things like that. Like yeah. that. As long as your elbows yeah. agree. Yeah. That's you know? where I put on the most on my triceps. Was doing when I was younger. I was able to do heavy skull crushers and dumbbells. <laughs> dumbbells, yeah. one arm like this, yeah. and those really beefed up the belly. So in the front of a bicep, you get a lot of hang. Yeah. I think now that I have triceps, I just maintain. I don't really, yeah, like yeah. just yeah. It's like, I could show you like one day, maybe next week, if you guys yeah. are doing arms. I can show you some cool stuff, even with cables, just to change the strength curve, how to like put more tension, like say stress on yeah. the top of the tricep or the bottom, yeah. just by the, the angle of the pull, yeah. right? Like if you grab a, a pulley and you're right up over it, so if it's pulling like this and you're over it, that's gonna like really stretch the tricep up here. Yeah. But you take a couple steps back and now it's changing. Yeah. So now there's, the tension's not up here. So now it's pulling like this and you're, you're actually there. pushing back that's gonna do more at the bottom portion the of the tricep. Head. There's yeah. ways you can manipulate it too to, for your personal physique. You know what I mean? You might be strong in the lower tricep, but you need want a little more girth up here. Or if you do need more lower for a front double bicep, we want more hang, yeah, you can target hang. that, right? Yeah, you Just need understanding. That have, bro. Like I have, no, 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 no. Yeah. No. <laughs> you know, it actually stays in the hand pretty good. Sometimes I don't even use my fingers. I actually put my thumb like this on it and you might be uh, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how it feels. I always have to kind of loop the yeah. thumb. And like... Yeah, you grab your thumb. Good. Try and push them out that way and shoot them like a Y. Yeah. Yeah, okay, go. I see you. Like there you go. out in front of me a little more. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Yeah, that is so nice. Good. Good. Should I go Nick Walker? Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not that's bad. Some, that's the, uh, yeah, what's his name there? Uh, fucking. Oh, fuck. I forget his name. Team whatever they're called. Yeah, oh, or RP. Yeah, yeah RP string. Range of mode, Team ROM. Yeah. Start here, and we'll do like anywhere from eight to ten, and then step here. In. And there's nothing up here, right? It's dead. So you're yeah. gonna lock in wherever the tension sets, and just realizing it's not pushing down, it's pushing back, almost like a kickback. Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna ride through here. Yeah. Lots of tension. Really focus on the contraction. Yeah. Locking yeah. out. So we'll do like eight to ten here. Gotcha. And then we're gonna step right in so it's almost just pulling us right upright. So you get a lot of stretch yeah, yeah, gotcha. up top and just ride through. So that cable's traveling straight down. Yeah. And now it's really stretching that tricep up top. Almost just flex the bicep and it'll gotcha. stretch as much as possible. Curl. trying to do like a tricep dip trying to remain as upright as possible but allowing that flexion to be in the elbow see my elbows bending not my shoulders so I'm not letting the shoulders drift up stretch the pecs I'm keeping that bend in the elbow stretching the tricep and I'm contracting the tricep 
It's almost oh. like elbows going back and then elbows going forward. Exactly. You're just doing this. Yep. Now, if I was trying to train chest, you'd see me in here and I would be driving that contraction forward into the pecs and then allowing my elbows to drift out, stretch on the chest, contraction. But I wanted the triceps, like he said, I'm kind of letting that elbow drift back, keeping that bend in the elbow and then driving and shortening contracting the triceps. today we did chest we did one uh, movement for shoulders and we did some triceps uh, really good workout you know I've followed Justin for a long time very familiar with the way he trains um, so we sort of use his training style today it's a great workout it's always nice having like-minded people on pure muscle fitness here and training together you know Erz was here today he's in town for a couple weeks Quinton was here Antoine was here so the vibe and the energy at pure muscle fitness is always you know really cool yeah. So, uh, and it's also nice just when there's some compatibility within training ideologies. Him and I both kind of executed things similarly. Obviously, I outperformed him in just about everything. <laughs> but no, um, we, uh, you know, a fairly low volume approach, one to two working sets per exercise, just pouring everything into those working sets. And then, uh, yeah, I had a really good workout. Um, That's great. Yeah, it's my first week here, so there's just so many toys to play with. So I got to just follow him. He got to show me the best of the best here, and, and uh, I can't speak highly enough about this gym, the environment, the people, everything. So, yeah, thank you. That was a lot of fun. Awesome. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. You know, make sure to subscribe, comment down below. Let us know what you want to see more of. Until next time. Peace. This just in. So yeah, so we just got scolded by Mariah here Damn it. Uh, to inform you on what we're doing for the rest of the day. We are actually going to go to Niagara Falls. I've never been. Uh, Jasmine, my wife, she's also never been. So they're going to go show us around. I think we might do some fun product shots. Just get there as a team, enjoy the lovely view, and have a good day. So again, thank you everybody for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.